Josh, one of the technical support engineers from our Melbourne office. Today, I'm going to go through how to set up and use mobile print release. First of all, why would you want to use mobile print release? Well, it allows you to have secure print without needing to set up an embedded device or release station. You can quickly locate which printer you're at with the ID number lookup or QR code, and it's really easy to set up. On that note, let's dive into the Papercut admin console to get it going. Here you can see a list of printers I've set up in advance. I have a virtual queue for Find Me Printing and all my physical queues which point to actual devices. What we can do is select one of the physical queues to bring up its summary page. Now I'm going to enter a department into the location department field. This doesn't have to be unique as there may be multiple printers in the English department. Then I'll scroll down to the alternate ID field and enter in a unique ID. For this printer, I'm going with ENG1. This does need to be unique as it's what my users will use to look up the printer. One more thing we need to check is that mobile release is actually enabled inside the config editor. Just go to the options tab and then across to config editor advanced under the action submenu. Search for mobile hyphen release and apply that and then make sure this key is set to Y. If it's not, set it and click the update button so it actually applies. Now let's send through a print job to test this all out. How about this one? Uh uh uh, no looking, this is top secret paper cut stuff. Okay, so here we are at the printer. I've sent that print job and it's currently being held for release. I'm going to open up Safari on my iPhone, but naturally this works on Android or even from a computer. You just need a web browser on the same network as Papercut. Now I'm going to navigate to the host name of the server, add in the port, and then finally MR for mobile release. As you can see, it's taken me to a logon page. I just need to log in with my Papercut user account like normal. I can even save my details for next time. I'll also quickly point out that you can add this main page to your home screen to make it super accessible as a user. In Safari, just tap the export button, then add to home screen. Here, you can see the list of printers on my system. Up the top, there's a search bar. I can search for the location we entered earlier and it will bring up all the printers in the location. Or I can search for the unique ID which will bring up just this one printer. What you can do is put a physical label on your printer so your users know which printer they're at, like this one. Or you could get really fancy and slap a QR code on there. Each printer's unique ID forms the end of the URL. So for this printer, the URL is my server name, the port 9191, slash mr slash eng hyphen one. Note that this is case sensitive. We even have a server command that you can run to generate QR codes for the printers. Simply open a command prompt as admin, and then we'll navigate to the papercut directory. Now we're going to run a server command. That command will be generate printer QR codes. In this example, we're going to use HTTP, so that will be a false, and then we'll point it back at my server, and then use port 9191, and get everything to export out into the C drive and then the QR folder I've got open for you here. That's them all generated. Now we can print these out and stick them on the printers to be scanned by the users. When you've selected a printer, you'll be able to see all the jobs that the logged in user can release to it. So in this case, it's all the jobs I've sent to my Find Me queue that are ready to be redirected to this printer. One last thing you can do in this interface is tap on this little arrow to see more info about the job. 
Now I could just hit release and all the print jobs would print out. Or I could tap on the ones I don't want to print and then release my top secret document. And that's it. You now know how to set up a printer for optimal discovery in mobile print release, as well as how to make sure mobile print release is enabled. You also know how to use the user interface and release your jobs. If you want some more info, check out the manual page for mobile print release. The link for it is in the description for this video. Thanks for watching. I've been Josh from Papercut.